Hey guys, back for an episode of Spyro Year of the Dragon. Last episode we did the Haunted Tomb and today we're going to be going to the Desert Ruins. Not Desert Ruins, Desert Ruins. I don't know why, whenever I see the word desert I always have to say desert. I don't know why. But there is actually a skill point in this level so we will be picking that up on our first trip through. But yep, let's get started. Oh my god, these are the guys from Glimmer. What up dude, how you doing? Hello, you must be Spyro. A lot of people are talking about all the things you've done for them. Do you think you could help find my girlfriend, Tara? She went off to raid the tomb of the stone golem, and I haven't seen her since. I'd go look inside the tomb myself, but you know there's all these scorpions and stuff. So yeah, th this is the level with the easter egg I mentioned in the last episode. There's a level with an easter egg, and this is it. This is the level with the big easter egg, which I'm really excited for. Sorry about that, I just bumped the mic, but uh, I'm really excited for this. There's 700 gems and 6 good old eggs. But yeah, there's a big secret in here, a big easter egg, which... I want to know how they're going to do it in the um, in the remake, but we'll be getting to that when we actually get there. But we're going to see this guy's girlfriend called Tara, and she's next to a tomb. So, uh, you can kind of guess uh, the little joke there, maybe. But yeah, uh, by the way, I hate scorpions, I really do. I don't know, like, scorpions just scare me. Uh, I, there's just something about them, like, they, they just look so intimidating. But I do think they're, like, really, like, really cool animals, like, how they work and stuff. But yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the levels in this game, in my opinion, are, are very, like, Roman-based, if that makes sense. Like, they seem like something out of, um, by the way, what the hell is this? Oh god damn it. Oh my god, these guys do a lot of damage to you, bloody hell. Okay, it looks like they heat the floor up. There's a lot of levels based around, like, Roman and all that kind of stuff. By the way, I'm taking a lot of dumb damage here, which I'm not really happy with. Oh god, I didn't mean to actually do this. Come on, come on. Come on, yes, oh my god, that, that was literally perfect timing, I don't know how that how that worked out. By the way, can we hit smash one? Boom, bam, yes we can. So there is actually one, uh, there's a last skill point in this level, like, only one more skill point left, and it's somewhere in this world, which is a bit sad. Think about it, there's only one more skill point, and, oh god, oh god, get out of here. And we haven't actually seen anything to do with it as of yet, and I don't know where it is, so that's going to be pretty interesting. Also, there's a Sheila the Kangaroo level here, I'm guessing that's going to be probably her last level as well, since we are... Approaching the um, the final stages of the actual game. Wow, I just died of the game here, which is a bit sad. Like, I still stand by like when you get when, when you when you get attached to a character and stuff like I have in this game, it's, it's a bit nerve wracking, you know. It really is. By the way, these jo what the hell? Like that is so. How am I meant to get up there? Like <laughs> this level is so unforgiving. Like so, if you miss this jump, you're screwed. You really are. And I've run out of lives to be honest. I've reused a lot of lives recently. Like in the last episode, I think I used oh god lag lag. Oh god, I don't know why it lagged a bit there. I don't know why, like, the levels... Oh god, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm making some silly mistakes here. A lot of levels in this game are getting a bit... Oh god, get wrecked, son. I'm getting a lot more difficult. Oh my god, like, look at these. Like, you're having to do a lot more flutter jumps. Oh, guess who's in there? The the big scammer that is, money bags. Oh, I hate scammers, man. Okay, let's go and see what he's got to say. It's going to be some kind of thing, isn't it? For, um, probably some kind of, uh, egg. But let's talk to him and see what he's got to say. Spyro, I bet you're glad to see me. It just happens that I know the uh, password to open the door to the tomb of the stone golem. But uh, it seems to have slipped my mind for the moment, if you know what I mean. How much is it going to cost, money bags? Just tell me. 800 gems! My god, he is literally a scammer here. We've got to pay it though to actually get to Tara. So, uh, yep, okay, fine. <laughs> Very well then. The password to open the tomb is. Are you ready? <laughs> gullible. Oh wow, that's actually a joke. That like, how gullible are you to actually pay that kind of money? But yeah, this seems to be linking towards Tara's actual um. Area. By the way, did... oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Oh god, get it, get away, get away. I'm not gonna lie. The amount of damage I'm taking in this level, even in the last level, I took so much damage, and it's. It's difficult. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to handle this guy. Okay, we need to wait. I'm going to wait for him to uh, light it up and then uh, go now, go. Boom. There we go. Get him. Okay, and there's another one down there. I'm not going to lie. I hate that we haven't got sparks as well. That makes it a bit more difficult as well. Uh, okay. I feel like we're fine. I feel like we're fine. We've got time. It's right. Okay. I mean, is there, is there two? Is there literally two right next to each other? I think, I think there might be. I think there might be. Okay, let's just go for this guy now. Boom. No. Balls, man. Inch of the way. Like, if that was like a second earlier, I would have had him. God damn it, man. These levels are actually getting pretty difficult, and I like it. I'm liking the difficulty curve in this game. It's not a game which is easy to um, easy to beat. It's really not. And I feel like this is definitely the hardest of the three. Now I've... Um, oh, balls. Okay, there we go. We got him. 
And now that I've been playing this for a while, I actually can tell like that is that is the case. This game is harder than all the other ones, which it's a bit scary if you think about it. It really is. But we actually are getting closer to the actual. Oh god! Oh god! What's gonna happen here? Okay, there's a guy up there. Oh, so you can actually light up anything here. Oh god! Okay, just jump, just jump, boom, and now I'm gonna get wrecked. Sorry, bra, but oh god, my god, my god! How many scorpions are here? Bloody hell! So many scorpions. So many scorpions. Ooh. Ooh, this actually takes over here to actually get the um, extra life, which is going to give us a full spark as well as 25 gems. I love the idea of extra lives in this game, by the way. The military makes so much difference. By the way, I will go, go back up there in a second. I kind of want to go and find Tara, which I'm guessing this is where she is now. Yeah, it is. And you can probably get, guess what the Easter egg is. It's Lara Croft. She is dressed as Lara Croft. And yeah, Lara Croft's changed a lot since uh, Spyro with Thorey. Well, from, from this era. Pretty much she's reinvented herself, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, but let's actually see what she's got to say. Well, well, look at you. Showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the work. I spend all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, might as well have it. Only turned out to be a lousy egg anyway. Thank you very much, Tara. So, that's a reference to Tomb Raider. And if you don't know, nowadays Tomb Raider is a universal thing. Back in the day it was just on PlayStation. So it makes me wonder, what's going to happen? Like, what is going to happen with Tara in, in the next generation con- Like, in the next generation version, the remake? Because I'm guessing it will still have Tara, but it also leads a lot of uh, assumptions to be made. And I, I, I'm just really interested in it. Like, will it or will it, won't it? Oh, we're actually gone full circle now. Great. Because, like, it makes you wonder, like, why is it all of a sudden that, like, all this is happening, you know? Like, I, I'm guessing it will still be, like, Lara Croft, Lara Croft, well, Tara Croft, or whatever your name is, in, um, in the remake, but it makes you wonder, because back when this game came out, PlayStation had its own, like, one thing, you know, it, it owned the rights to everything, but now that's not the case, it's a bit different. Now, Tomb Raider and Spyro is on all consoles, so we have to wait and see what happens there, but I, I guess it will, it will be the same now I think about it, but this is the area where we're going to be able to get the last skill point of the game. So, in this water, some, well, in all the water, the seaweed. We need to destroy all the seaweed. That's li literally our skill point. Just destroy all the seaweed. And I'm guessing we're going to have to do that using a super flame or something. There's a lot of rhinox here, by the way. So, I actually want to go and talk to Hunter first and uh, get us out of the way. What up, Hunter? How you doing? I've been training my new pet manta ray to carry the latest technology super high impact underwater missile launchers. Want to ride him and try blasting some sharks? Yes, please. Yes, sir. -y. Just watch out for the shark riders. They're carrying the latest JX-5 underwater tracking ammunition. Okay, okay. So this is obviously going to be for a thing, but... Um... Oh, we're actually controlling this, so this is actually going to destroy it. So, I, I, I don't know why this level especially makes me feel as if... Um, this level... I, I don't know. Um, it just makes me feel like this should be in Aquarius Towers from the second game. A lot of the levels in Midnight Mountain just feel that way. I feel like some of the stuff here, it definitely links back to Aquaria Towers on so many levels, which I kind of like that. Don't get me wrong, I love Aquaria Towers. I think it's so, such a good level. There's even sharks in that level. But this level just reminds me a lot like it. Like, so much so. By the way, I'm actually trying to destroy all the actual... Um... Oh, God. Oh, wait, so we have to do this all in one run? I guess so. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get all the actual... Um... What's it called? Um... I can't think of the name. Seaweed. Seaweed, yeah, yeah. Seaweed. Now, I presume... Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing you just keep spawning back in, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, there's actually a skill point for doing this and actually getting all of them. Which I'm gonna probably gonna try to do straight off. Like, I don't know. Do you think we can redo this without actually having all the Rhinox here? Because it's gonna be annoying to actually have to deal with all the Rhinox. I'm gonna try to get it again here and see what happens. Um, probably will miss like one piece of um, the actual uh, seaweed though. Which I hope not, because seaweed is annoying to get. But um, it actually seems to have, actually have really good aim. The actual mantle ray, so it actually does help out quite a bit. But there is actually uh, some seaweed I'm missing. And when we get that seaweed, we will actually get a. Um, a skill point, which, which uh, is, is what, it's the last one, you know. It's, it's always a bit sad when you actually have got everything you want to get in the actual game, isn't it? Oh, there, there's one I missed. Okay, that might be the last one. Here it is. There we go. That's all the skill points in the game obtained. How sad is that? Like, there's literally no no more for us to do here, skill point related. Which, oh, that's just sad. It really is. So everything is now completed, which is crazy. Um, I don't know what else for us to actually do, uh, skill point wise. Well. Not nothing really. We've got everything. There's actually a lot of gem canisters here as well, which is nice actually. By the way, where are these sharks? These sharks are actually moving pretty goddamn fast. And by the way, I'm pretty sure the manta ray was actually in uh, Spiral 2, so uh, 
reference there to Spyro 2, the Manta Ray. I'm pretty sure we had to follow him when uh, Hunter was training him in Aquaria Towers. That's just really cool. I love a little Easter egg, but there we go. We got it done. What up, Hunter? Tell me what you got for me. Nice shooting, comrade. Where'd you learn to aim like that? Oh, by the way, Bianca wanted me to give you this egg. She says she accidentally turned it into a woolly mammoth for five minutes, but it should still be okay. How can you turn an inanimate object, such as an egg, into a mammoth? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I know I know it's like got a life inside of it, but it makes you wonder, it really does. So, so I'm gonna go and get, pick up all these gems we've missed over here. It's quite a few, there is quite a few. But to be honest, it does feel like a lot like Aquaria Towers, this area. And it, it really makes me think, this has to be, like, Midnight Mountain as a whole. It w was meant to be a world in Spyro 2, and now I'm guessing they just run out of time or... Or whatever. I just feel like a lot of the levels in this world definitely feel like something out of Spyro 2. I'm actually going to have a quick scout around for gems here whilst I'm here with Spikes, yeah. I, I pretty much don't want to leave this area unless I've got everything. By the way, I didn't know some glisten up here as well. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, there's actually some more over here. Shouldn't wait to go with Sparks. Come on. Sparks, by the way, absolute, like, god at finding all these gems. It really is. Like, I can't believe it wasn't working for, for me, and now it is. It's great. L1... R1 and R2 is like literally the best thing in this game. It works so goddamn well. Anything around here? Nope. Okay, I presume uh, I presume we've got everything then. It, it, it's looking that well. I'll have a quick scout around and see if we can find anything, but I think we've got everything here. Yeah, I think we have. Sparks doesn't seem to be reacting to anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got everything here, so let's just leave. But, fine by me, we actually did get all the gems I wanted to get, which is great. Boom, bam. And we even got the last skill point. So, um, I don't know if there's any more bonus skill points. I don't think there is. Because uh, I, I know it's like a whole other world after this, but until then, I, I just, I don't really know, we'll have to wait and see. There is a whole other area we've actually missed, by the way. Like, I've explored quite a bit of this world already, but there's still a lot of stuff we've kind of overlooked. Like, over here, there's a, a scorpion over here. By the way, I'm loving the actual design of the scorpions in this level. I think they look really, like, monstrous and really, like, like scary and powerful. Like, I don't know, I like, I like it in, um, in games where the enemies look intimidating, and I feel like these scorpions in here, I know they're a bit childish and they look childy they still look a bit intimidating anyways let's go and see sheila because that's one of our quests as well over here so this is probably my last time we see sheila like i mentioned which is a bit sad again i don't know if we'll see again but we'll wait see Spyro, haven't seen you in a while i'm just off for a bit of a walkabout right now you know sometimes you just long for the simple old-fashioned pleasures of yesteryear don't you yes you certainly do so now let's go to play we're gonna play as a, a bit of a uh, sheila oh it's actually a 2d segment this is this is interesting. We're actually in a 2D segment, so I can't actually jump back. Oh my god, and there's even some more monstrous scorpions here. But yeah, this is uh, interesting, like a 2D segment in Spyro, in the Spyro original trilogy. That's 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 unheard of. I know it was in the um, Cortex Conspiracy, you know, the uh, Spyro Orange, but still, like, it, very interesting, very interesting indeed. It means that we can't really miss much, though. Okay, I'm waiting for this guy to activate, and I'm gonna, we're just gonna run and boom, get wrecked, son. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking this, but is this literally it? Have we literally just finished it? Well, there's our first egg, Lester. What up, Lester? How you doing? I'm not gonna lie, I'm liking this new angle, though. I kind of wish there was more levels in 2D, like, because I feel like it's just, uh, they're literally just throwing this together here. You know what I mean? Like, it could have been such a cool concept having this, like, oh god, earlier on. Um, when you get a big jump here, come on. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's get another big jump on it. Come on, I can make it. No! Balls! Balls! I just missed that. I just missed that. But yeah, I, I wish there was more levels in 2D, because it is a, such a cool concept, you know, like, like playing as your favourite character in 2D, you know, it, it's it's definitely something new in, in Spyro 3, well, in Spyro, all of them, and it, it's, it's cool, I like it, it, it actually adds a whole other, like, playstyle to the actual game, and if, if I didn't play this game again on, on until now, I wouldn't, actually, I wouldn't have actually noticed that, by the way, we are pretty weak here, do not die, do not die, Sheila, okay. Just keep running, just keep running. I'm not gonna lie, it's annoying that the platform starts to shrink and makes me panic a bit. But there's actually another egg here, Pete. So uh, there's two eggs in this one area. That's uh, that's pretty rare to actually get that kind of uh, that kind of um, equity in, in a Sheila level. But easy enough, we've finished it. I can't imagine there's gonna be that much more in there. So uh, that's a bit sad. Like, well, I'm I'm sure we'll see Sheila again sometime. Okay, this is a uh, it's a bit nerve wracking, isn't it? Okay. Let's just go for a quick fly over here. Boom, boom. No, 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 no. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Oh my god. It doesn't stop, like, dipping down. Okay, this is going to be hard. This is going to be very hard to do. I'm, I'm a bit nervous about this because how difficult is this? Like, making a jump like this is it's not easy. Okay, let's just go for a quick, uh, 
We're, 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 we're going to do charge jumps here. And I can come back for the gems I missed. But, my god, this area is actually hard to get. But there's our next egg. Nelly, which is number five, I think, of the six. So, so yeah, you know, we don't actually have that much trouble finding the actual, um, what's it called? The actual uh, gem, uh, not gems, eggs. It's normally everything else. So, uh, that's a bit annoying. But, oh, there's actually a lot of hidden areas here. I'm liking it. Oh, there's actually a key here as well. Ah, this key's gonna, like, oh, there's a chest right at the start, isn't it? Why don't I actually go back and actually get that chest now, whilst we're in the area? Just so I don't forget about it. Because, no, no, my, like, I probably would just walk past the chest. And I'm actually really glad, like, I mentioned this in a previous episode, that chests actually have returned. Because I'm pretty sure a chest wasn't that much in the second game, if at all. I don't think they were. But there we go. We're actually going to open up the chest and see what we've got here. And, uh, buzz in. That's actually, like, 50 gems. Thank you very much. It's nice to actually get my money back from money bag scammers. I know. 800 gems just to complete a level. That's crazy. And the thing is, like, we have to pay it. We have to pay it. Oh, it's just annoying. Money bags for you is annoying as hell. Okay, I need to actually get back over to Sheila's area over there because I did miss a, a gem over there. But yeah, money, money bags is just like a massive scammer, you know. It'll, it'll literally rip anyone off. I hope we get, um, I hope we get just desserts in the remake or something like, because that would be so funny. You know what I mean? Just like watching him get absolutely wrecked. I, I, but I want that really hope, alright, in the um, in the remake for Spyro, um, Spyro the Reignited trilogy. I really hope they actually get the original voice actor for money bags back. I can't remember his name, but I just really liked him as a character, like. Because I don't like money bags, but I liked how his voice actor portrayed him in the second game. In the third game, not so much. I, I feel like a lot of people who play, who's played the third game instead of the second, say the opposite. And by the way, there's our last egg there. I don't know if you can see it. It's right up there. A lot of people who's played the second game say the second, the second one's better. A lot of people who played the third game say the third one's better. But for me personally, I think it's the second game. I think it's just the which one you actually got conditioned to first. If you don't know, I, I grew up on Spyro 1 and 2, and then I just never played play 3. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's the original voice actor for, for him from number two. So that'd be great. Imagine if some money bags actually in, uh, in the first game, that would be cool as well. Oh my god, can we, wait, what? I thought we could actually, okay, I thought we could actually use the roof in some way there. I guess not. I don't, I don't know, what would you guys want? Would you want money bags from the first generation? Well, by first generation, I mean the first voice actor from good old um, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Or would you want a different one? Because like, it's really, it's a really interesting topic, isn't it? Am I going to make it? Come on. Oh my god. Such a, a close thing. By the way, I did actually notice the head bash thing over there as well, which I'm guessing we can actually get from over here, maybe. But there we go. Andy. Hello, Andy. How are you doing? That's our last egg of the level as well. So that means that, that means there's only like a few more eggs left in the game as well. Oh, that is 150 total, and that's going to put us to... Th there's only 14 more eggs. Oh my god. Okay. There is actually a, um, a head bash thing over there. I'm guessing I have to go... Oh, I got it. I got it. Easy enough to, to do. Easy enough to do. Okay, let's go over here and actually get that. I have to go on the hand and then go from there. I, I presume at least. So that's, that's, that's how I would normally do it. Alright, because there's a little hand here, so we're going to have to get over here. I'm hoping this is the last few gems and we haven't missed any. Because this level's actually been pretty tough. It's been a it's been a decently hard level. But there we go. Give my gems. Is that all of them? Yeah, we've got everything. Everything complete. Nice one, nice one. Overall, it's been a really fun level. And I think we're going to actually head over to uh, Tara Croft and uh, head off. And by the way, I love the actual Easter egg. I like how... Um, Games like this, such as Spyro and, and even Crash, they have references to each other. Like, even the fact that like, they have a, had a reference to Lara Croft, another staple PlayStation character, I love that. You know, and I'm really happy that she did incorporate that in some way into the game. You know, it's really nice. It really is. So with that, I'm pretty sure we, have, we haven't actually got that many levels left. Let's actually have a quick look here at our quick atlas, because I'm curious how many worlds we've got left. Okay, we are still missing a few things in Midnight Mountain. But we've actually got Crystal Islands, the Hate Harbor Speedway... And then we've got the Sorceress's Lair. That's crazy. So we've literally got two more episodes left in Midnight Mountain. That's so sad. Like, this level's got, this game has gone so fast. But I'm pretty sure this is the last one, which is Crystal Islands, yeah. So yeah, enjoy this video. Please go like it, we really appreciate it. Next time we're going to go into Crystal Islands. And it's, it's the last level of the game before the speedways and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great. But I'll see you guys next time for the final world in the game, which isn't a speedway and a boss. Yeah, I'll see you guys later in Crystal Islands. Take care and peace.